Hi, I'm Saujanya from Bangalore, India, and I'm so excited to be part of Pet Remedy Summer of Love celebrations. I think the conversation around emotional well-being of our dogs is so critical because it lays a foundation for the emotional experience of our dogs. When I say emotional experience, I, what I mean is how they process their emotions, how they're able to regulate their emotions, and also how they're able to express these emotions to those around them. And I love this conversation around emotional experience, emotional regulation, and emotional resilience because it is the core of what I want to talk to you about today. I'm here to introduce you to the concept of gentle dog parenting and how it's relevant to the relationship we have with our dogs. Now, feel free to replace the word parenting with whatever you seem to be comfortable with, be it caregiving, guardianship, friendship. It doesn't matter what you term the relationship you have with your dog. Uh, what matters is the philosophy and the foundations of the approach. Now, these concepts are taken from the human parent child relationships, but it ties very well into the relationship we share with our dogs. Uh, broadly speaking, there are three different types of parenting styles, authoritarian parenting, permissive parenting, but I'm here to talk to you about gentle dog parenting. Now, the core of gentle dog parenting is to build a safe and healthy relationship with our dogs while helping them build their cognitive skills, their emotional skills, and also um, the development of skills that are, that are necessary for them to navigate difficult situations in life. I'm going to bring up a client's video and we'll walk through it and see what gentle parenting can actually do. Here you see my client's dog Spotter and Weasley. By this time, they had learned unhealthy and harmful ways of dealing with these emotions and had attacked each other. They were not comfortable in each other's presence, but over a period of time, we worked within their comfort levels, creating um, better experiences around each other, creating better relationship with the caregivers to be able to access safe space and support when needed, but also slowly build the skills to navigate these uncomfortable situations in a healthier manner. They started slowly asking to be in each other's presence, which you see in this video where Weasley wants to go and then settle next to Potter, but Potter is not very comfortable about this. The beautiful thing now is that Potter walked away. Something that he learned over a period of time to emotionally regulate himself, access his caregiver support, and different ways a healthier way to deal with uncomfortable situation. Here you see both of them having a cordial moment, but in a second you will see them again in a tense situation. They're both having a conflict here, but the critical part of emphasizing emotional well-being is that it's not it's to acknowledge that our dogs can experience and process a spectrum of emotions and not to suppress any of them but give them skills and space to cope with these in a healthier manner you can see that both of them are tense but potter walks away he accesses his safe space with his caregiver the extended version of this video is where he asks for his caregiver's support and the caregiver brings in a barrier and potter comfortably then goes and sits next to me you can see the beauty of gender dog parenting. There is safe space that the dogs can access. They learn over a period of time uh, the cognitive abilities required to navigate difficult situations. They learn to process their emotions and regulate their emotions. They learn to express them and deal with them in a healthy manner. And all of this while they can build a trusting relationship with their caregivers while knowing that they will also be respected through this relationship um, as well. I had a great time talking about gentle parenting because I love this conversation and I hope that we can keep talking a lot more about gentle dog parenting. Thank you.